This is a toy spot on the DC Universe Wave 13. We're looking today at the classic Cheetah. I don't know what was wrong with me. I think when I did my review of the modern Blue Beetle, I said that the Blue Beetle, uh, the Superboy, and I think the Donna Troy were figures I was really looking forward to. I completely forgot about Cheetah. Cheetah, in fact, was really the reason why I wanted to get this wave, between her and the Superboy. Um, growing up with the uh, Superpowers figures and the Challenge of the Super Friends cartoon, um, Cheetah really was, was a no-brainer for a figure I wanted to get. I don't know. I don't know why I, I completely forgot to mention her at the last review. Needless to say, her collect button, collection button. There is a picture of her in her classic outfit, Golden Age. And we've got DC Comics, 75 years of superpower, Cheetah. Um, the back of the package, the other figures in this wave: Negative Man. We've got Superboy, Cyclotron, Blue Beetle. Uh, they've featured a picture of the classic cheetah versus the modern cheetah that you can also pick up, uh, Blue Devil, and finally Donna Troy. Collecting all f all seven figures will award you with a very large, angry, angry Trigon. And the read-up biography says several individuals have taken the name of cheetah over the years. The first was a socialite named Priscilla Rich, who presented the fame of the Wonder Woman, or who presented, who resented, <laughs> boy, who resented, there we go, how many more times can I say that, the fame of the, of the Wonder Woman of the 1940s. Turning a cheetah-skinned rug into a costume, she tangled with the Amazon several times. Decades later, glory-hunting archaeologist Barbara Minerva stumbled across the African tribe in the midst of a bloody ritual. She forced them to make her a part of the ceremony so she could become a vessel for the cheetah spirit, attaining the abilities and feral nature of one of Wonder Woman's greatest, most enduring foes. I don't know if I would necessarily force them to make her part of the ceremony without maybe, I don't know, knowing what the ceremony consisted of. Because if the ceremony consisted of human sacrifice, where they were going to cut me up, I might maybe find out about that first before I would make them uh, make me part of the ceremony. I don't know, that's just me. Statistics first appearance, Wonder Woman number 6, 1943, real name Various. Uh, not quite right, really, because uh, the real name Various, really, if the first appearance is Wonder Woman number 6, then the first for her real name should be Priscilla Rich. They didn't necessarily have to leave Various off, not unless they wanted to keep the the card generic with the modern um, let me let me double check here yeah I'm just bringing in the modern uh, cheetah and actually in fact they use the exact same card uh, so that being said um, the the read up I guess technically is cheating because the read up actually mentions both cheetahs so I guess real name would make sense that they would go various instead of uh, specifying um, the Priscilla Rich character. Uh, granted, the first appearance of the modern wouldn't have been Wonder Woman number six, but then again, you could say the first appearance of Cheetah as a character in general was first appearance of uh, in Wonder Woman number six. Eh, so necessarily, it is right. So I'll leave it be. Occupation: criminal, evil spirit. Base of operations: various. Special abilities, above average strength, agility, and speed, highly developed sense of cunning, acute senses. Has a really nice picture of Cheetah up there as well. Uh, but that's packaging. Now going back to what I said earlier, I am actually, I'm looking forward to getting Cheetah out of package because this is a figure I really wanted to get. Um, so let's not wait any longer. What we'll do is we'll get this opened up and we will have a better look at Cheetah. Stay tuned. And those that missed out on the first time, just give you guys a second look at the button that she comes with. Very busty uh, Golden Age Cheetah. And the Collect and Connect piece, the final Collect and Connect piece 
of Trigon. We have the final leg. So what we'll do, checklist time, we'll take the Trigon figure, snap into place. It was a lot easier than the last leg. Snap it into place. And like that, we've got a fully completed, you can't even see his head. We've got a fully completed, though, Trigon. And even though you can't see all of it right now, i got to say, he's a decent looking figure. So much so that uh, Cheetah fell against him. She, I guess she was copping a feel. Uh, we'll move Trigon out of the way here. Looking forward to getting him reviewed later on. And let's have a look at Cheetah. She kind of reminds me of Rachel Wise from the Mummy series. The face kind of looks like her, at least. Um, the sculpt actually is very nice on her. Very, very nice indeed. I just realized now that actually she has articulation in the tail, which is kind of neat. You can't really do anything else with the tail, but you can rotate it, which is, which is pretty decent. Um, I love the figure. I'm a little concerned with the arms, because the arms are extremely small. Uh, in fact, anybody feels free to correct me by all means, but in fact, I would almost say that I think this, is, this figure has the skinniest arms of all the female figures released. Her arms are extremely skinny. So much so, let's just bring in Donna Troy here. You know what? I, I guess they are the same. It's just the way the paint's done on them. that It just happens to look like they're a little skinnier. Uh, they are the same same size. That would be the only concern I'd have with this figure, is the fact that the arms are so skinny, I'd be concerned with that they're going to break right off. I mean, it does feel really thin when, you, when, you're, when you're holding the figure. Uh, it doesn't feel like there's a lot there. Um, I love the paint scheme, though. Uh, the paint scheme is spectacular. It's a vast improvement, really, from the modern Cheetah, which I'm going to talk about when I eventually get to her, uh, and how the they're, they change they outright change the design of the character, which I thought was terrible. Um, but this Cheetah looks nice. Uh, the face, everything on it is perfect. Everything is perfect. Um, if you've collected the what Clash in the Cosmos, uh, Brainiac, the green skin Brainiac. If you collected the Gotham five pack uh, exclusive Luther, um, I guess that's really the closest ones. I mean, I could say Grundy and stuff like that, but they're more like the modern looking Grundies and, and other figures. But I mean, slowly we're also filling out. Not only with Donna Troy, are we filling out the Teen Titans ranks, but with the very nice classic Cheetah. We're also slowly putting together the Legion of Doom. And is anyone eh, anyone following that? So it's very unlikely that we're probably going to get any more Legion of Doom. You never know. We might get a uh, might get a toy. What was it Toy Master? I can't believe I forgot about that. Um, but uh, yeah, we're slowly filling out the ranks of the the uh, Legion of Doom, which I love. I if it was my way, I mean, I'd probably pose all these guys together anyways. Um, in the way of her articulation, she has standard ball joint. You can look it up, and look, have her head look up and down, left and right, no problem at all. Uh, ball jointed shoulders, you can rotate the bicep, bend at the elbow, rotate the hand. The hands are actually very rubbery and very small, I might add. Look how small those hands are. One hand seems larger than the other. Um, you can bend the mid-torso bit stiff on this figure. You can rotate the waist, bend the legs in and out, back and forth, rotate the thigh, bend at the knee, and bend at the foot. Standard female articulation, no different than any other figure. Uh, but this is a great figure. If you grew up in the 80s like I did, and you love like the old classic style outfits, you got to get yourselves Cheetah. Cheetah is the bomb. I love the paint scheme. The figure is great. I think I'm going to like this a lot more than the modern version of Cheetah. Um, but this figure, I'm going to give an 8.52, well worth picking up. That was a toy spot. Today we were looking at the DC Universe Wave 13, classic Cheetah. And with that, I'll see you guys next time.